Hello everybody, um, this is Sal here with uh, a tutorial um, that's going to help out some uh, people out there with uh, certain uh, video cameras. Now I own a video camera that uh, it records on, onto an SD card in uh, MOD format. Um, and I know a lot of cameras out there uh, do that because I've noticed some posts where people they say they don't know how to edit the MOD file, the file extension in let's say Windows Movie Maker. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to uh, transfer it over to MPEG into a version, uh, into an extension that Windows Movie Maker can understand and with the correct aspect ratio because what I've noticed is that you can simply rename the file extension MOD to MPG and Windows Movie Maker will understand it but um, it won't be the correct aspect ratio let's say and what I mean is I shoot in 16 by 9 on the video camera but in Windows Movie Maker it imports the movie as a 4 by 3 and uh, it looks very squished together and if you've seen any of my um, previous videos they're all like that and uh, I finally figured out the solution to this problem um, which is um, more than just renaming the um, the uh, the extension of the file but it's very easy and it's free what you're gonna need the free piece of software you're gonna need is called uh, SD copy and it's just a little executable file doesn't install I have it um, I have it just um, added it to my program here um, but you can just leave it on your desktop and execute it so it's called SD copy this one here is called the uh, version 1.99 beta and uh, you just um, the input the file then the f the uh, the folder where you want it to be placed and it says actually you could just input the directory and it'll collect all the MOD files and change them to MPEG and in order to keep the aspect ratio 16 by 9 there's a little checkbox here that says set widescreen form uh, set widescreen flag 16 by 9 and you must have that checked if you are if you have captured your movie in 16 by 9 and uh, it's gonna work out great because you're probably noticing this in full screen uh, as you're watching so I recorded a little video earlier so let's just um, so point it to the desktop we wanna let's get the new one on the desktop you can even add uh, text to the uh, to the name of the file that you want to output but it doesn't matter for us so so before we do that let's make a copy of this you know what everybody knows what happens when they rename the file extension so we're just gonna skip it because I gotta change my folder options so anyways let's just start it and there it is as you can see here there's the new file uh, that it's created it's renamed it to mpg and has the same aspect ratio so I have Windows Movie Maker now what you gotta make sure here is go to tools options and then click the advanced tab and here video properties if you're here in North America, it's NTSC and the aspect ratio, if you have recorded in 16 by 9, select 16 by 9. Then click OK and you, as you noticed here, the box changed. So now let's import our video here. And we want the movie clip. And there it is. It's filled the screen perfectly. Before we would get the black bars on the side and um, it would totally uh, squish our video uh, together <laughs> but now we fixed it I'm just gonna I'm gonna now I'm gonna include okay, this here's a test shot uh, hopefully everything here will attach to the end of this little uh, tutorial so you can see but as you can see it is com completely filling the screen and and that's what probably a lot of you are looking for so uh, that's it 
you just need a program SD copy. I'll have the link to that free piece of software in my show description. Um, if this uh, saved you some uh, some headache and grief, uh, give me a nice five star review. Thanks for watching. Okay, here's a test shot. Uh, hopefully, everything here will appear in widescreen. Um, because we figured out how to uh, edit the video in widescreen in Windows Movie Maker. There's a shot of the outside.